the dinosaurs were killed off well the non avian dinosaurs were killed off 66 million years ago due to the impact of a 15 km wide roughly uh, meteorite asteroid comet whatever it was that happened uh, the impact was in yucatan present day yucatan the chicxulub impact so can we say that some of the mega fauna like the stegodon in the indian subcontinent became extinct in the pleistocene epoch by the lonar crater causing meteorite interesting question so do we know what the lonar crater is i mean many of you may perhaps not know about it it's a it's a significant meteorite crater meteor crater in india in uh, maharashtra and uh, so first of all let's go and find the lonar uh, lonar crater let's go to the maps outstanding first question itself brings the maps on the screen all right so we have well let's zoom into india and let's just search for it lonar lake it's a lake now but it was a crater well let's take a look at the satellite image so as you can see it's a roughly circular thing yeah and this is located if we zoom out you can see it is in maharashtra let's zoom in again it's a roughly circular structure right and uh, you can see there are more structures nearby that seems to be a secondary impact amber lake and so on so this is a lake which is actually a crater and this this impact event happened about i don't know 50000 years before today 50000 55000 years before today that that sort of thing okay so it's a, it's a significant impact crater not gigantic what's the dimensions of this crater about a kilometer 1.1 1.2 1.3 km, 1 .1, 1 .3 km in diameter if you are considering it to be an approximate circle right so that was the deal so this this impact crater is about 1.2 kilometers wide the chicxulub impact crater which is no longer visible to the untrained naked eye the chicxulub impact crater is about 200 kilometers in diameter okay and that was caused by something like a 10 to 15 kilometer large asteroid or comet impact and that's the event that killed off the non avian dinosaurs and it caused a mass extinction event in event in conjunction with the deccan traps activity volcanic activity that was happening in in the deccan region of india when india the indian subcontinent was at the time in the middle of the uh, indian ocean it, it had still not hit asia so the chicxulub impact crater is about 200 km wide and it caused a mass ext mass extinction on the planet the lonar crater is one let's say 1 km wide so it's 200 times smaller right so the the impact impactor the the object that would have struck the earth at lonar would be roughly you could say 200 times smaller than the chicxulub impact uh, uh, object So if that thing was 15 kilometers wide, let's divide by 10. So that's 1.5 kilometers. Let's divide by 10 again. That's 150 meters. Divide by 2, 75 meters. So the the object that would have caused the lunar impact would have been about 75 meters in diameter, or so, which is similar to the object uh, the object that uh, caused the Tunguska event in 1908. The Tunguska event was an it was not a, an impact event because the object exploded in the sky but it caused a gigantic area of of devastation in in essentially uninhabited uh, part of russia it leveled enormous uh, you know uh, regions of forest and all that and there are some some lakes that you find in the region today that are possibly the the, the consequence of that um, of that event so the so the lonar crater was probably caused by something similar to the object that caused the tunguska event in 1908 and as we know in 1908 it was pretty devastating locally over there but it not it did not cause any uh, any extinction event event it did not uh, cause any species to go extinct or any such thing so the lunar event would have been like that it would have been pretty 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 big it would have been devastating at the time locally maybe over uh, or an area of maybe 500 square kilometers maybe 1000 square kilometers or maybe a, a radius of a 500 kilometers around the place where you have the impact crater but it would not have been so devastating that it would have caused uh, the extinction of various 
megafauna or any kind of fauna. So it would not have done that. Now the question people will be wondering, what is a stegodon, right? It's It was an ancient form of elephant. It was an ancient kind of elephant which used to live in the subcontinent, which existed in the subcontinent and beyond the subcontinent. So let's quickly take a look at what the stegodon looked like. Okay. It was a, f a kind of elephant. Stegodon. Stegodon. You see, this is what a stegodon looked like. And uh, this is, you could say, an artistic representation. It had larger tusks than present day elephants. And this animal uh, went extinct about around 10,000 or so BC. That's not a whole lot of time ago. So the lunar event happened, let's say, about 50,000 years before today. And the stegodon went extinct about 12, 13, 15,000 years before today. So there's a significant time period, time gap of more than 30,000 years between the extinction of the stegodon and the time when the lunar impact event happens. So clearly these two are not correlated. Okay, so that's how you look at it logically. You look at the time period of what happened when, when did the extinction of this animal happened? Uh, happen? It happened about 10, 12, 15,000 years before today. But the lunar event happened about 50, 55,000 years before today. So that's a significant time gap. So that's not, there's no correlation there. And secondly, the lunar, the, the object that would have impacted the earth and created the lunar crater was way smaller than the Chicxulub impact, which was gigantic, massive. It caused a global mass ex extinction event. Right, so uh, yeah, so it it would be incorrect to think or or, or to say that uh, the lunar event was uh, responsible for the extinction of the stegodon or any other megafauna. We have, I mean, people have done some research here and there in the lunar region, and it, it's pretty it's a pretty significant impact crater, but they found no evidence of that event having caused any kind of mass extinction or even localized extinction events uh, in the Indian subcontinent. All right.